This is Twit. As we previously observed, Russia has been making noise about their own RU net, uh, which is what they call the portion of the internet located within their territory. It appears that Russia now has a law which requires, and I get to say it, Roskomnadzor <laughs> to, perf- <laughs> to perform an annual test disconnection of the internet for the purpose of verifying RUNet's stability when it's functioning as a freestanding network. And they're claiming that happened in the very early morning last Wednesday, July 5th. However, people in Russia are doubtful. Someone named uh, Natalia uh, Krapiva, she she tweeted, last night, Russia tested disconnecting itself from the global Internet. On June 5th, around 2 to 4 a.m. Moscow time, Authorities tested the sovereign Internet system, which led to disruptions of various websites and government infrastructure services. Russian railroad services and food safety systems were reportedly disrupted after the sovereign Internet testing on the morning of July 5th. She then links to a Moscow Times article about this. However... Someone named Oleg uh, Shakarov quoted her reply, her, quoted her tweet, and replied, "Please don't take Russian or anyone's claims about testing disconnection from the global internet at face value. Always remember about incentives within the system to exaggerate one's work." There are plenty of reports that there were no universal break in connectivity. There is no real evidence that the drills caused disruption of Russian railroads and the agriculture regulator. I mean this in a literal sense. There is no evidence cited in this Moscow Times piece. As I tweeted earlier, RZD and that's the Russian Railroad, RZD problems started before the exercise and continue today, most likely caused by pro-Ukrainian DDoS attacks. And in fact, earlier, Oleg had tweeted, the website and app of Russian railroads have been disrupted for four days. Customers are told to purchase tickets offline. According to RZD, this is due to hacker attacks. The problem persists today despite yesterday's statement and says he, he, he finishes the IT army of UA implied its role. And lastly, somebody else whose handle is UG underscore SIG tweeted, yes, a quick look at the sites that monitor internet plumbing did not reveal any great disruptions during the time period identified in the reporting. One would have expected to see massive routing drops and other disconnections, but I didn't see any of that. So, yes, disconnecting from the internet in any meaningful way for the purpose of isolating all of Russia from the West You know, have you seen how big Russia is? That would indeed be visible to anyone monitoring the Internet's operation. Uh, It seems likely that if anything was done at all, it was some token gesture, you know, like they pulled the plug on the Kremlin or something. You know, it's like, oh, look. He no, stopped. We no, stop it. no Russia, no, no Western connection, no, no Facebook, no evil Google, you know, and then they, they, you know, plugged it back in again. And that was their annual test. Uh, so, you know, and in fact, there, there were reports of, of pro-Ukrainian forces taking credit for uh, uh, shutting down Russia's rail system using DDoS attacks. So, again, I, I don't think that actually happened. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. 
30% of ACI learners are MSPs. Practice labs are the perfect place for your team to test and experiment before deploying new apps or updates without compromising your live system. Fill out the form at go.acilearning.com twit for more information on a free two-week training trial for your team. 